Hello makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week I am having a look at action figures again. If you've watched the channel at all over the last few years, you'll know that I really enjoy making action figures. Whether it's a 52 points of articulation Black Series style figure, or just a 6 points of articulation old G.I. Joe or classic Star Wars type figure, I'm all over action figures, I enjoy them, and I especially like building and painting them. Recently I've been in contact with a company called Open Trigger 3 d uh, They do a lot of stuff via My Mini Factory, which is a great little site. A uh, guy called Danny Sanchez uh, has designed an action figure based on Iron Man. And it's got loads of points of articulation, it's really detailed, and it's possibly one of the best 3D action figures I've seen so far. Uh, it's available for free on My Mini Factory, so just look at Open uh, Figure 3D, and uh, you'll be able to find him. Let's give this a try and then we're going to do a build and assembly afterwards and see how this sort of compares to the other ones I've done in the past. So, let's jump right in. is all printed out and ready to go we just got to free them from the support material that they uh, have to generate to make them print properly let's start off with the uh, iconic Iron Man helmet as you can see most of the head is fine uh, just got a few bits underneath to free so let's uh, remove some of this and see what it looks like get the pliers on there Try and leave as little of the support material on here as I can because that gets really irritating later when you're trying to get the last few little bits off when you're trying to uh, assemble the thing. Yeah, there we are. And be careful with the jaw because it looks a little bit uh, flimsy. Right, let me get the cutters in there, I think. Now the parts are printed, I have spray painted them silver, given them a nice base coat, and yeah, they've turned out really, really nicely. Uh, go from the top, you've got the uh, classic Iron Man helmets, you've got the neck piece that goes into the chest with the arc reactor, you've got the shoulder parts, I've clipped some of this together already so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, you've got the shoulders, you've got the biceps, triceps, and you've got the uh, 
the hands. You got the abs, which got an ab crunch there, and that goes into the pelvis. And you got two ball joints there with two socket joints on the hip, onto the hips, on the thighs there. You got the knee joints. You've got the uh, calves and shins, and you have got the feet at the bottom there. So yeah. This all clips together fairly simply. Let's start from the top and work down. It's got the head and the neck joint, and that just goes in there into the board and socket joint and give it a pop. Okay, with a pop, head goes on, and now the head is on the board and socket joint, so you can move left, right tiny bit aside but mostly up down left and right and that itself has got a socket on the bottom that goes into the body itself so let's pop that in there there we go and let's back that off a bit and yeah he's got uh, head action moves there left right and a little bit of movement in the neck as well. So yeah, that looks great. Next section to go for is the abs. It goes straight up into the chest area. So, so. And there you've got a socket joint. In there like so clip and you got the spine at the back lines up nicely and yeah you've got a little bit of movement forward back and also left and right okay next part is the hips there we go and those go in like so and that's the torso assembled. So you got. Okay, so yeah, it's looking good so far. Next thing to know is we need to attach the thighs. These once again have got ball and socket joints, so these should just pop in there like so. And Pop like so. Okay, now the tricky bit. One of these we have got joints. Now I printed a test one of these before, and the joints on the knees are quite stiff so they have to get popped in quite hard so I'm going to take this off camera for a second pop these in so I don't break it so back in one more okay so now the feet knees and hips and thighs are all attached properly and all move correctly just got to do the arms now the arms are made out of three pieces uh, I have already put these together but uh, let's demonstrate them here you got the hand which moves at the wrist you've got the elbow joint and then you've got the upper joint as well and you've got a board and socket joint here so they clip straight into the shoulder so bring the torso in this just Pops into the shoulder there, and there we go. Nicely moving, nicely easily shifted around. Flip him around there, and I've just got to pop the hand back into the socket here, like so. So, yeah, his wrist now moves backwards and forwards, left and right, as does his arm there and just pop it back in the shoulder there and I think we're done 
detail level is lovely on him. He's, uh, his mask looks great and once uh, I paint over the base silver, he'll be absolutely perfect. All the panels are clipping together and yeah, it looks really, really good. And the guy's designs did a really, really fantastic job. Let's uh, give him a turn around. Back here you've got the uh, his boosters and repulsors. Up the thighs, or up to the back, up the spine, over the shoulders, and to the back of the head and the neck. Okay, let's give the articulation a test and see, make sure everything moves correctly. So we have got head articulation, left, right, up, down, and a little bit of side to side. We've got arm up, arm down, bend in the middle, hand moves as well. We've got ab crunch movements. We've got the hips that go left, right, forward and back. Legs go up and out slightly and down. Knees bend. Lovely amount of articulation in this model, and I say that the, the, the detail is brilliant. You got all the all the panelling and the joints, and everything looks great. And um, once it's had some paint applied to it, I think they are absolutely, absolutely outstanding. Man Mark III uh, armor it has come out beautifully. I'd say this is probably my favorite uh, 3D printed action figure I've done so far. And yeah, he's great. His joints, they move enough that uh, they're fully articulated. They're simple enough to move, they don't feel gonna break them, but they do hold positions. So you can put your leg back like that, it doesn't move. Arms can go out and they're not gonna fall around the place. It feels solid. It feels secure, it's not gonna snap bits off. The head's really, really movable, and yeah, it's a load of personality. And yep, yeah, all the joints are... <laughs> oh, you piece of bloody crap. You had to do that right then, didn't you? Yeah, all the joints are absolutely fantastic. So that is the, so that, so that is the Iron Man Mark III armor print. And yeah, I've definitely got to say this is my favorite uh, 3D printed action figure I've built so far. The joints are flexible enough they move, but they don't feel like they're gonna break, but they still hold positions really, really well. The head gives it a load of personality. I say it's got full articulation, spin the whole thing around, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. It's got hip, it's got ab crunch. This is the next best thing to a black series figure. It's beautifully articulated wonderfully detailed and I'm very very impressed by it. 
I think the next thing to do is get some paint on this little thing. Uh, the red and the gold will go really, really nicely over the silver here. But uh, at the moment, yeah, very, very happy with that. Word on to the guys who created this. They've done some brilliant work. They've also done some Metroid ones, so I'm looking forward to printing out a couple of Metroid figures as well. So this is free, it's on my mini factory. Links in the description below, and thanks very much guys for putting this up for free. You've done a sterling job here, above and beyond. Very, very impressed. And thank you you guys for getting me to 100 subscribers, which is absolutely brilliant, not bad for a year's work. Next up is 1,000, so like, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, it just means that uh, I keep the channel going and it really helps. So, thanks very much, stay well, stay safe, thanks for watching.